Hi. Paul Gravet here. We're in Nantes at Le Lieu Unique, where I'm going to give you some brief tours of the exhibition Mangasia Wonderlands of Asian Comics, which I've curated for the Barbican with a team of 20 advisors from across Asia. For the first time, the uh, history, the creativity of Asian comics is presented all in one place as a, in a thematic survey. This is a statue by Aya Takano from Japan. And there, of course, you can see a giant blow up of uh, Astro Boy by Tezuka Osamu. The exhibition is organized into six sections. The opening one, as you can see here, is called Mapping. And as we turn the corner here, you can see how the exhibition is designed using, in this situation, printed paper and also large display vitrines. And I'm gonna just let you have a very quick run through of this first section. Here we're presenting some of the formats of Japanese comics, uh, going right back to uh, very early ones, such as this uh, Tagawa uh, Norokuro book, through to the more familiar modern manga, magazine formats and tankobon formats. They are from Japan, and our second display shows a wide variety of different formats, including, of course, ones inspired by Japanese comics from across the whole region, elsewhere, uh, from China, from the Philippines. Here we have a beautiful original artwork by Hei Yuji. In the background, there's a lot of noise because we've got videos being, just being uh, played here as well. And as you proceed, you'll also notice we have a lot of artworks, both uh, beautiful originals and also high quality facsimiles, pages from Detective Conan, from Viva Volleyball by Chike Ide, uh, and from favorites like uh, Doraemon, and the work of uh, Maki Miyako, and many more. We also are mixing up the uh, images of from the past with the present. Here, for example, is a superb modern ukiyo-e print based, of course, on Masumi no Shiro, Shiro Misamune's Ghost in the Shell. Okay. Uh, we have over here a lot of noisy videos playing. I'm sorry about that. And there, of course, is uh, Ayata Kano again. And we carry on down this corridor. Many more treats to discover, uh, showing here both the classic influences from Japan's past on present-day comics, and also the arrival across much of Asia, including uh, not just Japan, of the influence of, of Western comics, whether it's uh, Punch, the, here is the Japan Punch from the UK, which inspired many cartoonists uh, across the region, including in Japan, and also, of course, the influence of American Sunday pages. This is Rakuten Kitazawa, and this, for example, is an original artwork from the Philippines by Tony Velasquez, showing the influence of Western cartooning. So that's the opening section, and I'll come back to you in a moment when we join section two. But let's look back. That is section one, mapping Mangasia.